To begin the zipper, you'll actually do a one inch strip of interfacing on the inside of the two back pieces. It should be the length of your zipper and you'll just fuse that on with your iron, hot iron. Press that all the way down and be sure when you go over the attachment of the skirt to the bodice that your direction of everything is pointing down. Also, be sure that you do the other side so you can see the same thing over on this side. So the zipper can be a little tricky to line up, but basically what you're doing is, um, if you think about it, you want the pull to be on the outside of the dress so that you can pull up along the zipper. So you need that to be facing outward. And if you look on the marks that you drew onto the outside, you can see where the zipper's going to line up along that outer edge. You'll take the top of the zipper and you want it to line up with your top notch mark right there and then you're going to pin that along the dress all the way down and do that on both sides. So this is what it looks like when you have it pinned on the one side and we'll actually just start with one side so we can stitch that on nicely. Um, you notice that I have a regular zipper. I don't have an invisible zipper. Um, the invisible zipper just won't show the teeth and that will look nicer, but I didn't realize that when I bought it. And you'll see it comes all the way down to that lower notch and that's pretty much where it's going to end. Next, I'm gonna hand stitch this, um, do a basting stitch to keep it in place. If you have an invisible zipper, it should have tape on it that sticks it to the garment. Um, but I am not using an invisible zipper, so I just have to hand stitch this before I take it over the machine so everything stays in place for me. And it's easier to hand stitch with two hands, so I'm going to put down the iPad and do that. So you can see this is all hand stitched now into place with a basting stitch along here. And then I've gone and pinned the other side as well, kind of just repeating the same process, pinning it all the way down on the inside. The, actually that outer edge where you have the marks and then I'm going to go through and hand baste a stitch as well. Taking it over to my machine now I'm going to switch out my foot from just my regular foot and place on my zipper foot so that's kind of got a nice narrow front to it which will let you get around those grooves Okay, so I have my zipper foot so that it's hooked on to this left side, I guess you could say, of the foot. And then I'm setting my stitch to a regular stitch. You just want to make sure that your needle's going to clear the bottom of the foot. So to check for that, I'll usually just do a one-time hand crank to make sure my needle's going to go through. I do that whenever I switch my feet. Um, make sure it's going to work. And then when you're sewing along here, you're going to want to sew as close as you can to those zipper grooves right along that edge, all the way down, back stitching at the beginning and end, all the way down here to where you have that mark. So this is what it looks like when you're sewing. See how close you are to the ed edge? You just hold your fabric in place and guide it through. And now that it's sewn into place, you can go through and use your seam ripper to pull off all those basting stitches. So here we have both sides sewn on, and you can see how they line up along the back and where the notch is towards the waist. So everything's lined up nicely. Now you'll need to finish the stitch down the back of the skirt. So pin those two sides together and hold Pull your zipper out a little bit and then stitch as close as you can along here. I'll probably still use my zipper foot for this first little part, maybe about four or five inches or so, and then I can switch over my, to my regular foot. So here's my zipper foot. I'm using that to try to get as close as I can to the edge here. Be sure to pull out your pins as you're moving along. and then switch over to the regular foot for the rest of it. Okay, so with the back finished, just push open that seam and press 
with your iron. Um, I just have it pushed over a seam roll here to get a nice finished look here and just press that open. Now for extra reinforcement, just sew a little bit of the lower part of the zipper onto it, the seam allowance there for the dress. So um, you just use a regular straight stitch, back stitch at the beginning and end, and just sew some of that zipper so that it, it helps hold it in place. Last step is just to fold the top pieces, kind of fold them over and you could just do a little hand stitch right there to keep it out of your way and keep it tucked out of the way until you add the collar.